What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with a brand new WWE Elite figure review on the brand new ringside exclusive Defining Moments Elite Cody Rhodes figure. Now, this Cody Rhodes does come a part of a massive four-pack box, as you guys can see here, featuring four different figures. You have Mankind, Cody Rhodes, Bret Hart, and Shawn Michaels. You can choose to buy the Cody Rhodes individually right here, or you can buy all four in this massive box over here, which is very cool. I'm going to move Cody just for a second so you guys can see here on the side of this massive four pack you get an artwork of all four men on the back you get the wwe logo ringside exclusive logo up here of course these are ringside exclusive if you guys want to grab all four of these or the cody Rhodes, go over to ringside collectibles use promo code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent but spinning it over here you have all four gentlemen again and then if you check the top of the box it does have all four men's names very similar to the packaging that they come in you have mankind the american nightmare cody Rhodes, not the american nightmare Shawn michaels and brett hitman hart but but I wanted to show off this little box right here before getting into the Cody Rhodes because he does come in this box right here. So I do love that. So if you guys want all four of them or you want one individual figure, you can make that decision for yourselves over at ringsidecollectibles.com. But there is the four pack. And now we can dive into the packaging for this Cody Rhodes figure, man. Very excited for this. I covered it on my Instagram page. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, definitely go check it out. But this head sculpt is the same head sculpt as the Elite 101, but it has different deco. So I'm excited to show you guys that difference and all those things. I showed it a little bit on Instagram, but hopefully mine has good paint apps and stuff like that. However, getting into the packaging for these new Defining Moments figures, I really enjoy it. I think it's more compact. I think it looks really awesome. Got a lot of details here, of course. It's like we stepped into a time machine. The Defining Moments were big long ago in the Mattel history, and then, you know, they lasted for a while, and then they discontinued. I kind of conflate the two with Toys R Us. Like, I feel like Toys R Us, when they were booming or when they were around is when the Defining Moments were around, and then, you know, shortly thereafter, Defining Moments went away, and then Toys R Us slowly went away as well. So that's kind of where we are, but this packaging is very synonymous. It's very classic. They've upgraded it. It's smaller and compact. I don't have a Men on Card Defining Moments figure right here to show you, but there's not a lot of unnecessary space. If I can find some comparison images, I saw some the other day online that I'll definitely put up for you guys, but this is a lot better. I feel like it's not a lot of unnecessary space. I think you have some good stuff going on here, but if we start at the top, you guys can see that it does have the American nightmare cody Rhodes, and then going all the way down it looks very very clean in there he's got his cowbell all the bells and whistles on here with the ringside exclusive logo and then it has the defining moments at the bottom and then in spinning it around you do have a shot of cody on the sides with the modern wwe logo and then you do have a shot of Cody on the back here. And then on the back, of course, you do have the little bio read there. This is with his matchup from Hell in a Cell where he took on Seth Rollins where he had the torn pec with the bruising. Absolute money match and it was a brutal beatdown. Nonetheless, man, let's go ahead and crack the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes out of his packaging. Find out what he's about. Put him on the rotating base and see what he's got going on. So here's the American Nightmare out of the packaging, spinning round and round. We got the cowbell accessory here, and man, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm quite shocked about the accessories. Of course, we're going to dive into it here in a moment, but I'm enjoying this figure. This is one of the figures I was most looking forward to, and I know a lot of people are just going to look at it and be like, oh, Brad, it's just a repaint, but god dang it, it's nice. All right, I look forward to this figure. I think it's on back order right now, unfortunately, but I'm definitely going to be grabbing another copy of this figure. I might even cop more, you know, because it is an exclusive. You can't just buy a of them at one location like a supreme edition kenny omega or something like that man you gotta get it at ringside collectibles so be sure to go over there use code md toys if you want to pre-order it or whatever the hell it is man but nonetheless man you guys know how these reviews work we're gonna dive into the accessories you get with the figure first and then we're gonna get into the cody rhodes figure itself i also apologize if my speech is slurred a little bit it's because the other day i was playing basketball in the mornings i went to do a euro dude just smashed me in the freaking jaw with his elbow and so my teeth went into my lip and now I have like ulcers like three giant ulcers in my mouth from the cuts so it, it is all horseshish nonetheless man let's get into the accessories of this Cody all right, guys, so for the accessories you get with the Cody Rhodes Defining Moments figure, man, I think the big one is going to be the cowbell accessory here. And, I mean, let's go through the other stuff first, because just to knock it out, same Nightmare weight belt we saw with the Elite 101, same trash sculpt. It's not accurate. It has no belt loop on it. It's not accurate, and it's not going to be fixed for a long time. I don't know what to tell you, Brad. It's garbage. I, I hate it. Outside of that, you do get mic holding hands. The right side does have the hand tape, as always, with Cody Rhodes, so you get mic holding hands. 
You get the fisted hands to beat the hell out of people. Same thing. Right hand is taped. Left hand is not. And last but not least, you get the throne sitting, prayer clasping, you know, sit down, chilling, uh, sort of relaxed style entrance. Whoa, Cody Rhodes hands. And then for the accessory that we all came here for is going to be the cowbell, man. And I gotta be real with you. When I first saw this on display at WrestleMania, I didn't really know what he was holding. And then I finally saw it and I was like, oh, okay, we have like a, it's a, it's a damn cowbell from the matchup with Seth Rollins. So you do have the cowbell here. And a lot of people are probably thinking that it's going to be really stiff. It actually has like quite a pliability with it. Now it's not loose, like a form fitting chain or something like that, but I think it gets the job done and you could strap this to a couple people's wrists if you wanted to, you know, you could easily unhook a hand. Like here's the figure right here. You could just clasp that in there right there, plug the hand in and then attach it to somebody and easily do that. You could have a bull rope match if you wanted to. It's a bull rope. It's not really a cowbell. I mean, it's a bull rope with a cowbell on it, but you, you get the point. But it's got a lot better, like, it's it's more loose than you'd think. This end's a little bit tighter than this end. This end's pretty loose and stuff like that. So I can, you know, you might be able to use it. I'm not a big fan of it, to be honest with you. I think Jax did it the correct way. But, you know, it is a first-time-in-the-line accessory, which I can appreciate. All right, man, getting into the Cody Rhodes figure itself, starting out with the head sculpt. You guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. It's the Elite 101, but it's got slightly different paint apps that make it look better and more like Cody. I mean, like, look at this right here, man. It's kind of wild how much better it looks and how much more accurate it looks to Cody. It's just unbelievable, to be honest with you, but head sculpt looks phenomenal. It's probably the thing I was most excited for, just because I think it looks just like Cody. I mean, you may be looking at the best Cody head sculpt they've ever done. It's definitely up there. He's got the jaw tattoo. I've, I've discussed this at nauseum on the channel, but this isn't accurate. His neck tattoo does not come that close to the ear. There's supposed to be a big gap between his ear to the, where the tattoo actually is. I talked about it on the channel. I think it was during the Ultimate review, maybe, or maybe it was during action figure surgery, but but I covered it, and it's it's just, it, they need to fix it. Dream Tattoo, you do have the Torn Peck bruising in there. Now, I'll be honest with you, I don't think it's as gruesome as it could be, but this is still really cool with Mattel to do. I think it was like, you know, it had some yellows and some bright pinks and some ugliness in there, and I might custom paint this one up just to add that detail in there, just to have it, you know, just because I love Cody and I want it to be super accurate, but still badass. I think it looks awesome. Double jointed arms. I like this torso and formula for Cody. Cool tights in here. You got the half blue, half white, two of my favorite colors so that looks really clean with me and then you throw in the red and gold to tie it all together i mean what do you want man that looks all good you got the stars in there the blue looks clean clean deco i still think i need to oh yeah go all the way down to the boots it's the same white boots with the american nightmare logo on there but i want to get another one of these so i can have cody with the bruise and then cody without the bruise man but i am enjoying this figure a lot uh it, it's just a it's a good formula man he posed around well cody rhodes figures have always been like that especially from mattel like his elites always pose around really really well but let's get into some Cody Rhodes figure comparison. Oh my god in heaven. What are you doing, Cody? Let's get into some Cody Rhodes figure comparisons. So for your Cody Rhodes figure comparisons, the, you know, this is all elites we've gotten this year. We have the Ultimate Edition, you have the Defining Moments, and then you have the Elite 101. Very similar, you know, he is in yellow over here, underneath here, and of course, this figure is coming soon. I imagine before the end of the summer, everybody will have their Ultimate Codys in hand. I think I ordered like five of them, so I, you know, I'm gonna be having the, I'm gonna be getting uh, some good stuff going on with these Cody Rhodes fix-ups and stuff like that. Need to grab another one of these, though. I really like these all up next to each other. I think this is just the tip of the iceberg for the Cody figures. I imagine we're, like, we have a Top Talents coming soon that is new deco. We're gonna get more and more of them as the year goes on. We're gonna get more and more as he continues to chill in WWE. I'm sure we'll get some throwback ones to go along with our Stardust. Cody Rhodes, man, I love him. I think he's fantastic. He's slowly become, he's pretty much become one of my favorite WWE wrestlers right now, man. I, I'm not a fan of the Brock stuff right now, but ah, I wanted to witness him finish the story. I was front row. He won the Rumble. And then I go to Mania, sit on the floor to see him finish the story. Couldn't get the job done, man. Damn. And then for your AEW figure comparisons with our Cody, we do have the Defining Moments in the middle. Then you have the TNT ringside exclusive. So now Cody has two ringside exclusive. He has a ringside exclusive WWE Elite Mattel. And then he has a ringside exclusive Cody AEW Jazzwares. But there's the TNT ringside exclusive. The Unrivaled Series 1B. The Walmart exclusive Supreme the Supreme Collection Series 1, the Basic Ring Cody, like the UK Basic Ring Cody, and then you have the Unrivaled Series 4. So, enjoying all these, man. Love the Cody figures. They're fun to collect, and I can't wait for more WWE Elite Codys. But I think that pretty much wraps up our Cody Rhodes Defining Moments Elite figure review, man. I really enjoy this figure a lot, especially when you guys get your hands on the Ultimate Edition. The interchangeability, I mean, this right here is a literal screenshot from the match with Seth Rollins, where he had the, you know, he had the sledgehammer, he has the torn pack, 
back. He's screaming in agony. Damn good figure. I really enjoy it. Can't wait to get more copies of this figure. I know it's just a repaint of the Elite 101, but I think it captures a fantastic moment. I think this is perfect for the Defining Moments line. I remember when we talked about the Defining Moments line on my channel, I mentioned this as a Defining Moments figure. So this checks all the boxes for me, man. I love this figure. I love Cody. I think it's a great moment. Looks beautiful men on cord. I want to get this thing autographed. I mean, it's just a beautiful piece, man. As far as cons of the figure, I mean, you could probably say that maybe a little bit more detail in the bruise, but I mean, we've never really seen anything like this, man. I think it just, just a fantastic figure through and through. One of my favorite figures of the year. The Elite 101 Cody was one of my favorites, so this one is definitely going to be up there. It moves well, poses well, has great likeness. Love the deco change on the head sculpt. I know this is an ultimate head sculpt here, but I'm just showing off the possibilities when you guys get this in hand with the ultimate, like I said, but that is going to wrap this video up, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the figure and the review itself. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. Before we get out of here, man, huge shout out to our patron army, the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys. You guys are the real MVPs. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on this figure down below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one. We'll never back down. We will not relent.